What's up, guys? So today's video talks about Elvis as a kid and teen and some of his early experiences, you know, on the mic before he became famous, Elvis on the radio. And actually, it's kind of interesting that even before he was famous, he actually had some run ins with, you know, little moderate fame locally. The first story I want to talk to you about is in 1945 when Elvis was just 10 years old. He was at uh, the Mississippi Alabama Fair in Tupelo and Elvis played Old Shep and he sang it into a microphone and he was standing on a chair as you can see in this video here or this uh, picture here rather uh, Elvis's photograph from this event. Now this was actually interestingly enough broadcast on the radio in 1945 so people were listening to this on the radio. It was W-E-L-O radio. Um, but no recording has surfaced of this, but wouldn't that be so interesting to hear Elvis at 10 years old on the radio? I mean, who knows if it even exists? Maybe that's one of the gems we'll find out one day. Now, some of the reports are, uh, they kind of differ on the placement Elvis came in here. Uh, it is believed that Elvis came in second place at this fair and won $5 and got free tickets on all the rides. But uh, later, Elvis actually cleared this up in an interview and said he got fifth prize. And actually, what he remembered most about that day was his mom giving him a whooping for whatever it was. And honestly, it looks like maybe Elvis didn't get second prize because as you see in this photo, there's four kids in this picture. Two of them have a trophy and Elvis's hand is behind his back. So I think that if Elvis had won something, he probably would have been holding it in front of him. But uh, it's a cute picture, actually. After that, in 1948, November, Elvis sang Leaf on a Tree to his friends at the junior high in uh, Tupelo as he was leaving to go to Memphis. He sang Leaf on a Tree. He was 13 years old. And so Elvis, even though he was shy, you know, was able to get up on stage and uh, perform even at 10 and 13 years old. So that's quite interesting. Another story I want to bring to you guys while we're still talking about the 1940s so long ago. This was in 1947, actually the year earlier, and uh, Elvis was 12 years old, and I'm not quite sure exactly how he got this opportunity. I can't find any more info on it, but Elvis had the opportunity at 12 years old to play on a lo local radio station uh, to play and sing his guitar. I'm not sure what song he would have sang, but uh, Elvis actually turned it down because he was too shy. So somehow, for whatever reason, a DJ wanted him to perform, probably because he did some local things and maybe he was uh, friends with the DJ or something, or maybe, you know, word of Elvis was kind of spreading a little bit and a DJ needed to uh, fill up a time slot. And so he's had, had this local talent, Elvis, you know, with a funny name and the longer hair. But uh, Elvis actually, you know, kept his hair pretty trim. He was only 12 years old, but he ended up turning it down because it was he was too shy. Now, with these stories, you know, there's no footage of it and really no photos of it. But you kind of kind of imagine what it was going on. And I just think it was so cute that Elvis, you know, he was too shy. And uh, a lot of people, you know, probably would have turned that down if they were 12 years old as being too shy. But that was Elvis, although he became quite a uh, charismatic performer later on. Even when he was in his heyday, you know, which is, you know, more than a day, more like years, he was actually very nervous every time he would go on stage. And uh, so Elvis at 12 years old turned down this radio guest spot. And uh, I thought that was kind of funny. So during this time, Elvis started focusing on his appearance more like junior high, high school. So like eighth, ninth grade, uh, he was focusing on his appearance, his style, his look. Um, he started to grow his hair longer, his sideburns longer, and you have to think like, well, that doesn't really say anything to me now, but this was the 40s and 50s. So everybody back then pretty much had the crew cuts, uh, wore jeans, you know, very simple stuff. And here's Elvis with longer hair, slick back, um, put like gel and that type of stuff in it. it, had sideburns. Elvis wore dress pants all the time when everybody else wore jeans. He wore loud suit jackets and like dress shirts and he really stuck out and uh, Elvis, you know, got a lot of flack for this. And actually one of the stories of how Elvis met Red West was because, you know, Elvis went to the bathroom during school and, um, you know, a few guys in there met him up. They had scissors. They were going to cut his hair because it was too long in their eyes. So Red said, hey, if you're going to cut his hair, you're going to have to cut mine. 
and you know red's hair wasn't too long and everybody knew what that meant so they let elvis go and uh red stuck with elvis for just about the rest of his life until 1976 but that's another story so elvis was definitely finding himself and discovering himself and another reason why elvis had the sideburns is because he says that's how truckers had them and so uh elvis at one point drove a truck so that's a little tidbit on elvis history right there so really the pivotal moment in elvis's life came when he was at hume's high school in april 1953 some people say this is when rock and roll music was born so in 1953 elvis was 18 years old and high school was just about wrapping up it was at the hume's high talent show and this is when elvis really had his breakout when he stopped being you know the center of attention in a bad way and actually became one of the most popular this was a talent show and uh, there was no in this performance there was no you know swiveling hips no crazy movements the only props were elvis's guitar and a chair and he had a loud costume on elvis put his foot on the chair just like he did in the 68 special and just sang his heart out and the ovation was thunderous and it was long and Elvis was just an amateur, but he was belting out those vocals and he just won over the high school senior class. And uh, that obviously probably gave him some confidence to go into Sun Studios in 1953 as well that summer on a lunch break, actually, and uh, record My Happiness and really it started from there so i hope you found this story enjoyable i'm gonna leave you with a few clips here and i hope you enjoy them what was it like for elvis in those, in those first days did uh, he was kind of different from the rest of the guys wasn't he I mean, well <laughs> in some ways that some of the clothes he wore was different the way he wore his hair was quite different to what it was back then you know and he was criticized quite often about it, but it, it really didn't bother him. He just, he didn't change it. He went on like he was anyway. What was that story you told me about, you know, when when he first decided to go into show business? Did, did you have any inkling? Of... No, he, uh, he called me into his room one day there, I believe it was shortly after he got out of high school. And he said, I want to be an entertainer. And, uh, I said, well, you know, I don't know much about that sort of thing, but you deal with quite a few people in the business. I said, uh, why don't you talk to some of them and see what you got to do to get into it, you know. At that time, he was more interested in the gospel singing, the quartet singing, you know. So he tried for two or three different uh, other young groups to get in with them, and they was either full or... They didn't think he could sing good enough or something. I don't know what happened. Then after he made this record, quite a few of the quartet groups wanted him then, and so he talked to me about it again, you know. He said, what would you do? He said, I can um, get into the quartet singing now in the gospel field. And, of course, my reaction was is uh, I wouldn't do it. I'd just keep what I got because... You've tried that before, and they wouldn't take you in. I said, I'd just stick to what I got. So he did.